Hi guys, my name is Raul and part of the Cypress FAE team and I want to show you this pretty cool demo showcasing Cypress's excellent FRAM. Uh, the demo basically is using a board to control this uh, robotic arm that's going through some welding points on this uh, model car and basically storing all the information. And we're going to showcase you know, how the uh, excellent FRAM memory can be used to recover the different states in a safety or a power uh, down situation. So let me show you a little bit more detail on how the demo is operating. So what we have here is uh, an I.MX8 board that is controlling the motor through this uh, board. The board itself has the Cypress Excellent FRAM uh, included, but it's, in this case, it's a uh, four megabit uh, memory, quad SPI. The board also is capturing uh, information from this camera that basically is sending over 10 frames per second. And all of that information, the camera plus the different positions of the motor are being stored on the FRAM. So now we're going to do a, a little change to the demo. So the demo actually enables us to store the data on DRAM. On the board, we have an external DRAM, like a normal system. Uh, and when we are running, we're going to change the storage to DRAM. What's going to happen now is as the, the system is going through, we have the camera and everything, all that information is going to the DRAM. When we have a little bit of a higher situation, I'm going to emulate this, and we have a power outrage, we have the information as the system reboots, it's going to be lost because it was stored on, on the external DRAM. What's going to happen is the system is going to go back to the initial position and we're going to see that by having a clear um, camera shot and the robot moving to the initial position. So basically all the information from the, the failure was lost. Now, if I change this to FRAM, so very simple. Basically, what you're doing is you're, you're the one of the features of the FRAM is that it's fully memory mapped, which means that you're easily changing the, the storage location, and now everything is going to be run and stored uh, on the FRAM. So when we start, we're going to do the same drill. We're going to have the robot go through some of uh, half the cycle, and then we're going to have a little bit of an intrusion here, and then we're going to have a power outage. Now the difference in this case is that the system is going to actually be able to retrieve the information from the FRAM and we're, we'll be able to see what the last position was. We're, when the system reboots, we're going to see the last position of the robot and the last frame that was captured by the camera. So we have the position and then we have, as you can see, this is no longer a live feed. We have the last shot and then this gives us the possibility to actually resume the cycle from where we left off. I hope you enjoyed the video and demo, and for more information, go to cypress.com backslash FRAM.